credit card numbers, pins, online banking codes. Scammers always try to get their hands on these valuable numbers. With them, they can wipe out your savings, make purchases, or even open new accounts in your name. According to the iTake Group, losses from identity theft cases in the US cost over $500 billion in 2019 and surged 42% to $712 billion in 2020. This increase was fueled by the high rate of unemployment that was caused by the pandemic. High unemployment extended unemployment benefits, which made the sector an attractive target for fraudsters. You don't want to be on the list of victims of financial fraud this year, so here are 10 ways to prevent your financial information from being stolen. Number one, store your sensitive documents in a secure location or a safe. Sometimes fraud is happening within our own houses. Secure documents like your birth certificate and social security number and passport. Someone with access to your home can potentially steal or photograph these documents. Number two, never provide passwords and pins over the phone or by text or email. Financial institutions will never ask for these numbers. If a representative contacts you and asks for this information, be on high alert because one of the most common types of fraud includes criminals who pose as representatives to warn you of a potential breach. And the most common sign that callers aren't who they actually say they are is if they rush or pressure you to find and hand over your information. So if you ever feel uncomfortable, just disconnect. Call the number on the back of your credit or debit card because this way you can verify whether the representative and their requests are actually legitimate. Number three, enable push notifications for mobile banking transactions. You'll get an alert when you purchase something or withdraw money from the ATM so you can avoid these kinds of bank scams. This is easy to do and it'll save you a lot of trouble. Number four, secure your PIN numbers. Your PIN should never be a number that will appear in your wallet, such as your birthday, your phone number, your address. These are the first numbers that thieves will try to steal if they have your wallet. Also, always use your body as a shield when you enter your PIN number into an ATM or a merchant device. Number five, avoid using your cards at the gas station pump or outside ATMs. Scammers install card skimmers at some of these machines that are nearly impossible to detect. So when you run your card through one of these skimmers, criminals will have all the information they need. Number six, ditch your debit card in favor of credit cards. It might not seem like it, but your credit card is more secure and safe than your debit card. A successful debit card attack may wipe out your entire bank account and take months to recover. But credit cards have zero liability policies, so you can painlessly dispute fraudulent charges, receive a new credit card, and continue making purchases in the meantime. Number seven, utilize an encrypted digital wallet from a secure provider. Your digital card number will be used during the purchase, not your direct debit or credit card information. Number eight, go paperless. You'll be very surprised at how many scams happen from stolen documents from your mailbox. So sign up for online bill and financial statements so you can prevent criminals from stealing your identity or sensitive data from your mailbox. Number nine, destroy all documents with personal identifiable information as well as financial data. This will stop hackers from stumbling upon this information when rummaging through your trash. Shred your bank statements, credit card or loan offers, medical statements, and more. Also, don't forget to destroy your old or expired cards. Number 10, have identity theft protection. For the ultimate peace of mind, try an identity theft protection service service like Aura. We'll monitor and alert you to fraud before it happens, not after it's too late. You can try it for free by clicking the link in the description. Let me know in the comments which of these financial security tips you find the most useful. While you're at it, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. My name is Upton, stay safe.